This is the Mission First Campus, set to start its early learning center semester next week. No small feat, trying to keep little kids distance during the pandemic. The classroom prep work is underway for kids age three to five at Mission First Early Education Learning Center. $50 a month to come to school here. Uh, we provide their school uniforms. We provide our students school bags. The Christian Learning Center has spots available for the start of school Monday and plenty of protocols in place to try and keep kids safe in the classrooms. Teacher-pupil ratios have been reduced to around 10 to 12 kids and two teachers each classroom. Teachers are able to uh, place themselves around the classroom strategically and have students um, socially distance at their desks as well as um, on carpets or at the center. There are also high-tech air filters that use UV light to kill germs. The price for parents also designed to help out, certainly in the midst of the tough economic times of the pandemic. So it's hard time economically. So again, we think this is a great option for families uh, to be able to come here for $50 a month uh, and have what we believe is a top educational experience in, you know, in, in this uh, age area. The Hines County Human Resource Agency has received $1.7 million in CARES Act money to help young students in the Head Start program. What we'll do with that is uh, significantly invest in technology. Uh, we're initially starting Head Start with virtual learning, and so we need to make sure that our families have access to mobile devices that they can use for learning. Rawls says parents need to apply at its website. Right, so we're going to make sure that every one of our Head Start children has a mobile device so that we can support uh, learning at home. There are still slots available here at Mission First. If you want to apply for that Head Start money, head over to the Hines County Human Resource Agency and apply. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.